Okay guys, so like I promised, I said I would make a review on my two new bras that I got Friday, as in yesterday. And so we are going to do Napoleon's Meringo, and we're going to go, we're going to look at the horse and then look at this thing that he comes with. So, Napoleon is a gorgeous, gorgeous Arabian, he's a stallion, and he was Napoleon's horse, of course, <laughs> sorry, and he is, he has beautiful shading in his mane and tail, on his legs, and his face, and his ears, also has some shading every now and then in his muscles or around him. And he's flea bitten, so that means he has specks on him. Like all over his body. It's just my camera doesn't really pick him up. But he mine has Blackish, dark grey, and really light brown spots all over his body. He does not have detailed eyes. He has just regular black eyes. And he comes with his stand. So, if you are looking at him or any horse in the Huckleberry mold, be very careful where you put this horse because it is tipsy and he can fall over and knock horses down off your shelf and that's why he is right here on my nightstand because I'm afraid to put him up there with my other horses and so he comes with his card it is a mine was attached in the box so it has like stuff on it which I try to get on I mean off sorry and that's his name, and then a picture of him, which has a really darker variation of in shading than mine, but I still love him. He's really pretty. So this tells you about the horse pretty much. So you can't read it. Mine just doesn't really pick it up. And then this tells you about who Napoleon was and what he did and what he accomplished and that's the picture so he comes with that and he comes with a stand and he is, he is a really pretty horse but I am going to point out some flaws that mine has he has that giant rub right there he has that weird eye which I still have yet to fix he has some white on his leg. You can see that. And his his seams show which I ain't which I am not really happy about. But I can't really see, but he has giant seams just showing all over his body. Especially on his like belly and up on his chest and a few on his neck, but not that much. And he did come with shiny marks, but only a few on this one leg. So, if you were looking forward to buying him, I bought him with my other horse that I will show you. in maybe another video, or I could possibly squeeze him in, in this one. But I bought him and that other horse for 50 bucks together, so they're about 25 each, which I thought was a great deal, considering they were new. But he is in the Huckleberry Bay mold, and if you are maybe making a conga of this, I would get him. I don't know if he's hard to find because I haven't really seen anybody else have him in their collection tours. I've watched so many of them and I haven't really seen him so I don't know if he's 
hard to find or if he's discontinued or if he's just really old because on the briar like right sorry if I'm poking that right here it says 199 well actually 99 but that stands for 1999 so I don't know if he's just discontinued or really old and so he's hard to find so yeah that's him and he comes with this really good informative card that you could possibly show him with if you get a LSQ model because I do believe he will do really good in shows if mine was LSQ and if I ever go to Barfest but I just wanted to show you him and look out for the other review about the Black Andalusian Bye-bye.